Okay, so uh, this is the illustration for the uh, Muller method, uh, the example 7.2 uh, of uh, the book using the Muller method. So what we need to find is we need to find the approximation uh, x3 uh, for this uh, polynomial uh, equation. We will uh, start from uh, x0. x naught x1 x2 and x naught x1 and x2 are uh, 4.5 5.5 and 5 so these are the these are our uh, initial values and uh, we will fit the parabola from these points and then corresponding function values are so I can say these as f naught f1 and f2 okay these are the corresponding function values so f naught will be uh, x uh, x naught cube so x naught cube uh, minus 13 times x naught and plus uh, sorry and minus 12 13 times x naught minus 12 so it will be 20.625 so similarly f1 will be i will just drag it so it will be 82.75 and 48 so f no f1 will correspond to x1 and f2 will correspond to x2 so next we need to calculate h naught h naught h naught and then h1 okay so h naught is x1 minus x naught x1 minus x naught and uh, Uh, h1 is h1 is h1 where is h1 uh, h1 is x2 minus x0 so h1 is x2 minus x0 x2 minus x1 okay so it will be 59.75 Okay, and uh, so we have calculated h naught and h1. Uh, next, we need to calculate uh, delta naught and delta one. Okay, so delta naught and delta one. So what is delta naught? Delta naught is equal to f x one. That is, that means f one f1 is this minus f0 is this divided by x1 minus x0 which is actually uh, h0 okay 62.25 and uh, delta 1 will be uh, delta 1 will be uh, f Two minus f1 divided by h1 because uh, x2 minus x1 is uh, h1 h1 so it is 69.75 okay so 69.75 uh, and 62.25 and 69.75 these are the values so after this we need to calculate a b and c okay so a will be a is equal to delta 1 minus delta naught okay equal to uh, delta 1 
delta 1 minus delta naught and uh, then it is divided by h1 plus h naught so uh, h1 plus h naught so a will be equal to uh, 15 a will be equal to 15 yeah? and what is b so b will be equal to uh, a times h so a times h1 and plus delta 1 delta 1 so it is 62.25 so that is b and c is equal to f2 c is equal to f2 where is f2 f2 is this so we have calculated these values so next we need to calculate is um, uh, next we need to calculate is uh, what we have to calculate a b c and we have calculated so next we can calculate uh, what is the discriminant okay discriminant discriminant so discriminant is this uh, term in the square root b square minus 4 ac so this Discriminant is equal to SQRT S square root of mm, B square minus 4 times A times C and then back it close so it will be 31.45 uh, um, five four four. Okay, so now we can calculate the values of x three. Okay, so values of x three we can calculate two values. So x three one that will be with plus sign and x three two that will be with minus sign. And whichever value of x three will be smaller, that will be the uh, value which you which we will use later on. So it is equal to x two x2 is yes, this one uh, x2 is here uh, plus and then minus 2 times c so this is minus 2 times c divided by bracket close uh, b and now i will use plus over here and then the value of the discriminant which is this one okay so this is one value of x3 and the other value of x3 x3 dash 2 so x3 dash 2 that will be uh, is, uh, same uh, x2 mm, plus then minus 2 times c minus 2 times c divided by uh, b and then this time minus the discriminant discriminant is this okay and then there is some error mm -hmm. there is some error here okay so maybe i can uh, do it again so it is b x2 plus minus 2 times c c was this and divided by b and then minus the discriminant so this will okay. so it will be 1.87 okay so uh, now we can see that uh, now we have seen that we have uh, two values of uh, x3 3.97 and 1.87 so which value we will choose so the the value which will be closest to x2 that will be chosen so obviously this closest value is uh, 3.97 but uh, anyway we can check it by the uh, difference so by the difference so difference uh, one 
okay it is equal to the absolute difference between 5 and this first value and uh, uh, the difference 2 it is equal to the absolute uh, difference between 5 and this value so this uh, the difference is uh, uh, no. absolute difference between 5 and the second value so so the the value of x3 will be uh, then which one the minimum of these uh, the value corresponding with the highest difference so the value of this uh, the higher value will be this uh, the will be the the value of x3 will be the one which will be corresponding to the lowest difference so which is 1.02 and then the corresponding value will be x3 so now we, we can choose that uh, this value is uh, 1.87 so we can put an if statement if uh, if uh, this value is less than this value right uh, this value is less than this value then we will take this value otherwise this value so a simple if statement we have put so the chosen value of x3 is 3.97 okay so now we can calculate the percentage relative error aa EA is equal to uh, 3.97. Yeah, EA will be then uh, calculated by this formula. So it will be the absolute value of X3 uh, minus X2 uh, and then divided by X3. X3 is this so we put the uh, we put uh, one parenthesis over here and then we get a uh, percentage relative error is 0 0.25 we need to multiply it by 100 so it will be 25.73 okay so now um, this step has completed for the next iteration the value of x0 will be x1 and the value of uh, x1 will be this previously x2 and then the value of x2 will be the currently calculated x3 value and now based on these values now we can calculate the next iteration So we get uh, 0 0.6139 and then we get a value of 4.00105 and now we do one more time maybe two more time so we are uh, next week time we got 0 0.0269 and then we get a percentage error of int something like 10 to the power minus 1 so in this case we have obtained a, a the final route which we can see that it converges very rapidly so this was the implementation of this muller method on the uh, on the excel okay.